Hey guys, welcome to Happy Rider Core Reviews. I'd like to present the all new 2017 BMW X3 XDrive 28i in black sapphire metallic. The BMW X3 is a compact luxury crossover SUV manufactured by German automaker BMW since back in 2003. Based on the BMW 3 Series platform and now in its second generation, BMW markets the crossover as a sports activity vehicle, the company's proprietary descriptor for its X-Line vehicles. The exterior of the BMW X3 comes with the sportiness as standard. Thanks to the wide bumper with powerful air inlets, the front develops a commanding presence. From the side, it has the unmistakable BMW X3 look. A character line extending to the rear emphasizes the hint of a wedge shape which adds a further air of dynamics. The interior of the BMW X3 combines a high quality atmosphere with ingenious functionality. Exciting lines divide the instrument panel and the inside of the doors. Together with the vertical curve in the center console, they emphasize the modern look while retaining BMW typical driver orientation. Here's a key fob to the core. On there we have the lock, unlock, truck release and the panic button in red. You can also press this button on the back to release the manual key. Now let's go ahead and unlock it, start it up and let you listen to the exhaust note. The 2017 X3 of course come equipped with the smart keyless access entry so all you have to do is leave the key in your pocket or purse. Simply put your hand behind the handle to unlock and touch on the outer side right there to lock. Here's a quick view of the interior. Interior comes in sand beige Nevada leather. To start the engine, simply push your foot down the brake and press the start button located right here. Under the hood, this specific 2017 BMW X3 features a 2.0-liter twin-power turbo inline 4-cylinder engine that pushes out 245 horsepower along with 350 pound-foot of torque. It is a 8-speed Steptronic automatic transmission with sport and manual shift modes and adaptive transmission control. The X3 can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 6.5 seconds, and it can reach a top speed of 143 miles per hour. This is all possible thanks to the X-Drive all-wheel drive system. As for fuel economy, the X3 gets 21 miles per gallon in the city, 28 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 24 miles per gallon. To further enhance gas mileage, the new X3 is also equipped with the auto start and stop feature. With this function on, the X3 engine will automatically shut off at red lights or when stuck in traffic, and as soon as the driver let go of the brake, the engine will instantly restart. And of course, this feature can be turned on and off at any time. Up front, there's the automatic rain sensing intermittent windshield wipers along with the front shadow line exterior trim on the hood top. Moving down, we have the most iconically noticeable BMW double kidney grille surrounded by the sporty aerodynamic bumper kit. To help with visibility, there's the halogen high and low beam headlights along with the attractive LED fog lights at the bottom. Lastly, the front bumper also features parking assist to notify the driver whenever the vehicle is close to hitting any objects. This is a very nice safety feature. Here's a quick view of the side. Moving over to the side, we have the body color side view mirror with integrated turn signal light, auto dimming function, power folding control, and heated control to defog the mirror. Here's a quick look of the underside. X-Drive 28i badge. X3 side fender. This specific model comes standard with the 18 inches alloy V-spoke wheels with run flat all season tires. Behind the wheels, we have the four wheel ventilated anti-lock braking system, along with dynamic stability control, start off assistant, and brake fade compensation. All four wheels are equipped with the tire pressure monitoring system. 
To the back story on top, there's the rear spoiler with integrated brake light in the center. Rear windshield wiper. The rear is equipped with a rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. Parking assist also built into the rear bumper. To help with visibility, here's the eye-catching tail lamps with adaptive brake light, turn signal light, and hazard light. A rear view camera and the parking assist system are both very nice safety feature in helping driver back and out and parking. At the bottom, there's the eye-catching rear diffuser and the dual chrome exhaust tip. As for the gas tank, just make sure the core is unlocked. To open, simply push in on it. And of course, it is recommended by BMW to use premium unleaded gasoline only. Now let's go ahead and check out what's inside the trunk. We do have the power tailgate. And you can also use the wireless feature by putting the foot under the car. As you can see, very spacious and clean. First thing we have here is the trunk cover. You can pull this out. Simply slide it into the spot here to lock it into place. Covering the trunk. As you can see there, it looks very nice. And you can also actually remove the entire PC if you choose to. Here we have the user manual. There's a trunk net. Under here we have more storage compartment along with the four sliders. On this side we have a hook here. And you can also pull this out. This will give you access to all the different wiring behind there. Here's a 12 volt core charger outlet. Trunk lighting. And this side you can also pull this speed out. Here we have two buttons. The button on the right is to lock the car door and the button on the left hand side is to close the tailgate. Now to show you a complete view at the top. The new X3 does come with the panorama roof along with two roof rails for you to carry extra luggage on top. Here it is with its roof tilt function on. And here's a view with the sunroof fully open. The front glass port actually glides at the bottom, as you can see there, which also looks pretty cool. Now for a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door. Very nicely designed. We have the wood trim on top here. Door lock and unlock button. Four power window control. At the bottom we have the window lock button. On top we have the side view mirror control. And here's your trunk release switch. Side door storage compartment. BMW door seal. Brake and gas pedals. Hood release lever. And over here we have two memory settings for easier adjustment of the driver's seat. Also the power front seat control. Here's a detailed look at the driver's seat here. Seat belt height is not adjustable.
Now let's go ahead and check out what's inside the back. Here's a quick view at the rear seat. Same style design as the front door. Power window control. Side door compartment. Now again, I am 5'7", so this will give you a better idea of how much leg space you have sitting in the back. I have no trouble with leg space back here. Complete view of the front from sitting in the back. Here we have two additional air vents. And a storage compartment there. 12 volt core charger outlet. And the middle portion is raised up slightly. Back seat net storage compartment. And let's see what we have here in the middle. Right here we have uh, two cup holders. And you can actually fold this entire middle piece down. The back seat here does have the built-in latch system for you to safely secure down your baby seat. Same color seat belt. And you can also fold down the entire back seat if you choose to and if you ever happen to need more room for storage. It is a 60-40 split and you can do the same thing on the other side. Here's a quick look to the back. On both sides we have a hand bore with a spot for you to hang your clothes or anything you need to there. Light control. And here's a quick look to the top. And we are back in the driver's seat here. We have the three spokes steering wheel with multi-function. Over here we have your cruise control. BMW badge in the middle with the horn voice command option, bluetooth phone answering option, and audio mode volume control. Here's the front windshield and rear windshield wiper control, right and left turn signal, and the button on the end here is to reset your trip odometer. Way in the back there, we have this lever. You can pull this down. This will allow you to control the steering wheel placement. You can move it up, down, away from you, or towards you. Simply push it back up to lock it into place. Driver air vent, fog light control, and headlamps control. Interior lighting dimming. And here we have a storage compartment. On top we have the driver sun visor with a clip on the side. Also have a small piece of mirror there. And you can move this entire piece over to the side for better sun coverage and bore on top moving over to the middle we have the beautiful navigation audio system display currently in the navigation view looks very crisp and clean two air vents with the hazard light control in the middle and here's your engine start and stop button right next to it we have the auto start and stop feature control there here's the climate control in the middle that's where you insert your CD audio volume control here and press down on it to turn it on or off here if you leave it like this you can put your phone or things on top and if you open it you have two cup holders and in between we have a 12 volt core charge outlet Here's a gear shift box to control this. Push your foot down brake, press the button, move it up to put the car into reverse. When you do so, rear view camera will automatically display here on the screen, giving you a complete view of the rear. Also, the side view mirror will also tilt down, giving you a better view of the rear. Here it is when it's in park or drive. And as you can see there, it tilts down slightly when you put the car into reverse. Light down for neutral, heavy down for drive, Push it over to the left to put the car into manual sport mode and push up or down to change gears. Press P to put the car back into park. 
Over here, starting with the top, we have the traction control, different driving modes control here. You can go from uh, Eco Pro up to Sport mode. We have the heel descent control, parking assist control, power parking brake, and over here we have the BMW i controller. It is multi-directional and you can simply twist it in and out to zoom and press down to select. Here's the different uh, display selection. Here's the map navigation view, radio view, telephone view, main menu here. Very easy interface to use. Back and option button. So here we have the same wood trim finish throughout the car. Looks very nice. Middle armrest compartment, and there we have the USB input along with the auxiliary input and a 12 volt core charge outlet. Glove box compartment. Now let's go ahead and show you a complete view of the dash. This one does come with the optional head up display. As you can see there, it's blinking due to my camera. In reality, it does not blink at all and looks very clean. Moving on up, we have the rear view mirror with built in universal garage door opener. You can simply input the codes in there and use those three buttons to open and close your garage doors. Light control on top. SOS is for roadside assistant. And in the middle, we have the roof control. Let's go ahead and open the cover. As you can see, it runs all the way to the back seat, which looks very cool and nice. Tilt function only works for the front portion. Here it is with the tilt function on. And here it is fully opens. And as you can see, it glides to the bottom. All right, guys, that's all for today. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, make sure to check out our official Facebook page, my vlog channel, if you haven't already. And I'll see everyone in the next video review.